Hello everyone and welcome back to an episode of Risk of Rain 2 Modded. We're jumping in again this time using the Nemesis Mercenary, which seems pretty interesting. You see like an alternate version of the Mercenary here, but this time we got a shotgun and some bleed and interesting things to work around. So I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how this pans out. This character, these Nemesis versions seem pretty cool. I mean, I'm always down for a character that starts with a shotgun. Um, shotguns are some of my preferred weaponry in most games. Um, we'll, we'll sort of see what we can do here. It's kind of like a blunderbuss here. Uh, so let's kind of check out our abilities. Let's find an enemy. I mean, we've got two chests here already. So our movement ability... Okay, so that's a thrown dagger there. It's pretty cool. Uh, our movement ability, we have to have an enemy targeted. Whoa! And then we literally flick behind them. I like that. Oh! -ho! And then we go like this. Hmm. Ah! Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, I like this. I like this. It's a little bit unique. It's a little bit different. That dagger's pretty good. So we want to go like that. And then move behind. I'm surprised we don't get like crits from behind or something. That seems like it'd be a good thing to add with this character. But yeah, we go like that. Move behind. And then this gives us like dash vectors. Ah, I see, I see. So we move into position. And then we look at an enemy and we dash into them. Ah, I, I, I like that. Oh, dude, this guy is uh, sketching me out a bit. Oh, that dagger's kind of hard to hit. Luckily, the shotgun does very good damage. Ha <laughs> ha! Teleports behind you. That's really cool. It seems kind of... This, this ability seems the most interesting to me. You can kind of chain your dashes together. You go... Into this one, and then straight into this one. It's it's a little difficult to chain together and actually deal damage with. I'm sure as I uh, play more around with it, I'll get used to it and start being able to deal some real good damage. Oddly shaped opal, great item to get here defensively. Ah, I can. I see. So when I use my R ability, I can then use my teleport behind ability into I see. Okay. I'm getting the picture now. I'm getting the picture. This is very, very intriguing. I think I need a lot more enemies around to make it super useful, though. I can't just, like, pop it as is. Otherwise, it's not going to do much. Hit allies to heal. And that kind of proved pretty well in our last run, so I don't mind that. That dagger's pretty cool. I love the way it sticks in them as well. But uh, focus crystal's good, but this is this is better, I think. Okay, I've got some stuff over here as well. Enemies drop extra gold is super useful. Uh, corrupt on medkits uh, prevents a small amount um, of debuffs before breaking. Each debuff prevent it has a chance. Yeah, seems interesting. Seems intriguing to me. And here we've got a pig in a jar is good, isn't it? Okay, breaks at low HP obviously isn't great, but right. So let's pop this, and we want to go like this into that. Into that. Into that. Oh, okay, that's really cool, that. That's a really sort of over-engineered way of doing things, but I like it. It's a really good way of getting around, to be honest. It does some good damage, too. It's very AoE heavy. I like that. What an interesting character design. Right, we've got a few big chests over here. Fuel cell seems really good for later down the line. Always a good one to grab. And then big chest boy. When you have a shield, shock at enemies on taking damage. Okay, so that obviously gives us some amount of shield, which is nice. There's quite a lot of uh, things in this game that like allow you to build for uh, shield builds. I like it. Like In the base game, shields are like kind of pretty useless. In fact, they're pretty much actively bad.
get that dagger out there. We've got uh, equipment over here. I love this blunderbuss little shotgun we've got going on. Hey, with fuel cell, that'll be rather nice for the boss here. It like, automatically aims you at some enemy that's nearby as well. Okay, get us out of here. Okay, this character seems to be reasonably tanky as well, which is nice. We've got two uses of our 100% like, crit thing as well. I wonder how good this is going to be against bosses, to be honest. So we'll... Press this, do that. Okay. Not the best against bosses, but having 100% crit and stuff is uh, pretty good. Periodically guaranteed luck. I don't know how that works exactly. I don't know what that means. Oh, wait, what? My cartridge. Oh, there you go. I'm killing all these enemies to get more money before we go into the portal, by the way. Oh, white, white. Might as well as what I'm trying to say. There you go. Right, we can go through and we've got more money to spend on stuff inside here. I don't know why sometimes you get a free blue portal and sometimes you don't. Seems a little bit up in the air as to when you do and when you don't. Do we have any legendary items to buy? They're 400 typically, so we can't afford one if there is one. Ah, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. What, what did we get here? Bandolier could be interesting. I kind of want to take this band though and see which one this is. High damage hits also grant barrier. Yeah, we'll take we'll take two of those, and we'll take one of those. Cool. We got a ukulele there. Um, we do we do have this blessing here. Stare into the abyss for long enough, and soon it stares back. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Hmm. Nah, I think I'll keep keep what I've got going on right now. The hell is that? Recharge shield by attacking enemies, but replace a portion of your health with shield that cannot be recharged naturally. I'm gonna try that. That seems interesting. Increase critical damage, but half critical heart strike chance. I'm just testing out what all of these are. Gain an extra item reward from teleporters, but jumping for too long gives. Jumping for too long gives the item to enemies instead. What the hell? That sounds awful. I don't know what it means by jumping for too long, but yeah, I don't want to get involved with that. I'm interested by the shield thing, because I kind of... I'm intrigued in potentially starting up a shield build with this one that we've got already with the zapping. I think that could be interesting. As I said, I've not really played a shield build before, but I think it could be quite interesting. Start off up here, that's pretty good. I'm tempted to just... Do you know what? I'm going to do it. Just a ton of focus crystals. Hey! Personal shield generator. That's exactly what we're looking for. Literally doubles our damage up close. That's really nice. 78 for this thing. We have to wait up here though now. It's going to be kind of annoying. Teleport is all the way down there. We can see it. Anything we can snipe from up here. I hear something. Oop, hello. Burn extra damage is very nice. We can drop down here and use that burn extra damage to kill these guys pretty swiftly. Let's crit on that guy as well. Roll of pennies is absolutely fantastic for gaining money early on. 
Don't know what any of these are, I'll take that one. Just hope for the best. Critical strike chance is nice. Oh man, the damage we can output right now is lovely. I'm liking it. Not exactly sure what's going on with our shield right now. Another personal shield generator, awesome. Let's have a look how this item actually works. Gain shield that replaces 40% of maximum HP. Recharge the of shield after dealing a total of extra damage. Natural shield generation is disabled. Okay. Intriguing. It seems weird. But I think I like it. Seems weird, but I think I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing how it works, how it goes down. Dagger you. Okay, this is this is death if I'm not careful. So let's be careful here. I think if I do this, and then yeah, baby. Good stuff. Oopsie. I see an invisible enemy somewhere around there. There you go. Don't let me die. That was close. There's a chest. Why are there so many invisible fuckers? Hit allies to heal them. How about my allies hit me to heal me? Stuff has brooch, good stuff. I'm intrigued by this natural shield regen thing. I'm not exactly sure how best to utilize it. Increased movement speed, sprint speed, and jump height. Ooh. Good old horse hoof. Don't mind that. Okay, nice. Extra barrier. It's all a bit sketchy, this is, but... Making our way. Plenty of chests over here, by the looks of things. Ah, oh, another one of these boys. It kind of worked out. You just got to time it right with that. Hey, attack speed's always good stuff. We got chest over here. I forget exactly how these work. A lunar item. Don't think I actually want to give up my lunar item right now. I'm, I'm actually kind of into it. It's weird, but I want to make it work. I feel like I can. Cool. We're shocking a lot of enemies as well, which is nice. We like to shock. Let's take random here. Less damage from attack from behind. I mean, that's pretty good for us. We'll quickly go and check over here as well to make sure there's nothing left. See, we would have missed out on all of this if we'd just left. What's the surgeon's mask? Let's find out. Gain a stacking chance to bleed enemies. Taking damage removes all stacks and puts the item on cooldown. Seems kind of interesting. I think we're just good to go though, aren't we? Luckily we've got good movement speed now as well, so we don't rely on uh, our abilities to get around too much. We can just kind of run headfirst into some enemies. 
I'm just stay up close. We can do some crazy damage if we stay up close. Luckily, I've got all this extra barrier as well, which is helping quite a bit. Okay. I think as our damage increases, this build's going to get better and better. I hope. <laughs> More penny rolls is real good. We like the penny rolls. Doing it. Healing up. I still don't know what's going on with my text being all, like, funky. But Needle's doing extra bleed damage by the looks of it as well. What's that 3D printer over here? I'm kind of mad for 3D printers right now, so... Sticky Bomb. Interesting, but not the best. We'll take that for the teleporter event. I'm guessing that's more damage. Crit, we like that. This is a, a beautiful little run we got going on here. It's very strange, but I'm down for it right now. I just don't know the best way to regen our shield other than getting a mad amount of extra damage. But I just think it's one of those things where if we manage to keep it and stay alive, in the late game it's going to be really good. Oh, there you go. We, we got a portion of our shields back now, look. There's our teleporter in a bit of a weird spot, but don't mind. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed in our focus crystals so far. The range and it's just a bit lacking, so we're not getting that much use out of it. Attacks reach further. Nice. Sticky bomb. Extra boss damage. I think we go with extra boss damage here, to be honest. Dude, those crits are very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is time for this, isn't it? I like the fact that it gets us really nice and close for focus crystal when we do that. What the hell's this? Uh, it's just glitching us inside a wall is what it is. For no reason. We've got an extra essence there. Reflect damage. Um, oh, there you go. Well, shield is active. We like that. Flat damage reduction is really good too. And slightly increase attack speed. Don't mind if we do. Yeah, trick care of you. I'm pretty happy with how this is going so far. I don't know if this is going to be a bad decision or not, but I'm going to do it. Encrusted key. We've got a chest down here as well. They're hiding, aren't they? All these little chests. Increased health regen is probably pretty useful here. We've got two more chests and then we're good to go. Yeah, I'm just looking for more ways to deal more damage now. Fork. There you go. <laughs> Literally the exact sentence I just said. Thank you. Chance on hit to drop a star. Stars can be picked up to increase attack speed. Okie dokie. There's a star. There's another star. Okay, we're getting a few of these stars here. This could be pretty good. Right, boss is just down here. Remember, we've got our crit and stuff, so we should be fine to regen a lot here. Always in a weird spot like this.
This guy can absolutely wreck our shit, so we've got to be very careful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to take him out so swiftly there, because otherwise he could have been a, a real problem. ATG Missile Launcher, we, we like that, we like that. I think we'll just get out of here, shall we? Oh my god. Weird, weird, weird run. Right, one second. I need to pause real quick here. Right, let's carry on here, see if we can get something going this stage. I'm pretty happy with where we're at so far, though. We've got a void area here. A little bit annoying, but we can deal with it. Slightly annoying enemy to be voided, but hey her. We've not got too many void enemies. Okay, we've got two void areas here. Go with the full-on crit here. To be fair, having having like the permanent crit is probably a good way for us to deal that extra damage that we need to deal. Oh shit, I'm taking a lot of damage in here. I don't even know where the uh, enemies I need to kill are. Good thing is we got a lot of money out of taking all that damage. We like that. Nice. 1,700 already. War banners, not bad. We don't know where any of the enemies in this void area are, do we? Okay, you're voided. That's that's not it's not great. There's also you as well. We good? I need to use my dagger more as well. I'm not really using my dagger all that much. Ah, oh, really? Straight into this guy. Okay. We do have a scrapper there. Um, be willing to mess around with a scrapper. I need some space to actually be able to use it effectively. It's the only thing about scrappers, they don't pause your game or anything, so it's not ideal. Um, that, that we don't care about. Um, See, so, like, that's just that's some bullshit. <laughs> okay, I don't actually think there's much we can scrap, to be honest. Just get our money and gear. Make sure to actually pick up that scrap though. I think I'll actually trade it in right now for, for this over here. Okay, we've got enough for the legendary chest whenever we find that. Leave me alone. Extra boss damage, really nice. I don't want this the ne next one was though. Your attacks from slightly magnetic and growing cr gain crit chance. That's really nice. Hey, there's our legendary chest right there. I was hoping we'd see it down here. I think we could just pretty much go after this. Hey, got more than enough to get this. When your health bar is full, most attacks will fire out a sword that impale enemies, crippling them and exploding shortly after. Pretty interesting. Now, I do wonder if health being full, if shield counts towards that or not. My health is technically full right now. If not, then this isn't great. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and make this jump here. There you go. So I can grab this. Fuck okay, it, just jump off. <laughs> If we get just a ton of turf as brooches there, that'd be kind of wild. Where's my teleport to the top here? I don't actually know. Oh, I thought there was a teleport to the top here. Right. We're nearly ready to go, but there's still some areas around here that we haven't seen, so we don't want to 
rush off too soon. We've still got plenty of money to work with on the stage as well. Oh, another one of you. Hello. Yeah, so unfortunately this, this launching sword thing isn't very good for us right now. Um... Ooh, nice. Okay, I like that. Seems interesting. That seems intriguing to me. Okay, we've got our teleporter there. Here's this other void area we were looking at before. Three more monsters to go. We are going to have to enter this area to get them there. Wasn't expecting to see you. We do have permanent crit here, so it shouldn't be a problem. One more void monster to go. Okay, that's it, that's it. We're golden. I don't know what I do with these these void pennies. These stars are giving us so much extra attack speed. Um, I think we'll probably take that for the extra healing, thank you. Don't kill me please, thank you. Backup magazine won't exactly the best grab from that, but I'll take it. Let me take you. Gain an air dash. Ooh, I like that. Air dash is good for me. That's a lot of extra movement speed for us. I like it. Right, quickly go back down here. Really not much grab down here, is there? Honestly, the whip. Thank you. Right, let's go for the boss. Which I think is over here, right? Dude, the speed we can move at now with red whip and stuff active. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Is this area always Ancient Wisp? We've had Ancient Wisp three times now in this area. Barrier and gold on activate and interactable seems good to me. Oh my lord. I'm sticking around for way too long here, but I just want more money to spend in here. God damn. Okay. We've got some good money to spend here. Very good money indeed, actually. A legendary is available to us as well. We'll take it. We cannot buy two, though. Um, I'll see what this is. Killian which restores a small portion of your shield. Oh my god, yes. That's so good. That's so good. Okay, so now we have a way of getting our shield back, which is very nice. Not the way that the uh not the way that was intended, but the way that we want it to work. So, we can grab that. Yeah, again, don't really want that. We saw that last time. Not big into that. Yes, we are able to restore our shields properly with this as well, so now this legendary sword we got is probably a bit more than that valuable to us. Dagger that guy. 
Yes, we're able to get up to full HP way easier now. Way easier. There's our swords, look at the blue swords. Okay, this is ace. We've got a boss over there somewhere. Grove tender by the looks of it. Damn it. I was hoping I'd make it with that. <laughs> Didn't make it at all. Where's this Grove Tender gone? Oh, hello. Oh, the freezing is very nice too from this legendary we just grabbed. And there's the teleporter. Got a shift going on. Oh, there he is. He's very much decided to just chill out. Stuff. Yeah, we're able to stay at full shield way easier now. This has made this build actually plausible. I want some more on, like, on shield effects now. Let's just do the boss straight away here, I think. You again. I just dealt with you. Druins get a missile barrage. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Right, quickly go and grab these chests that I can see within my vision. I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, I see, I see you. Right, we go. We do have the Void Portal again. Yeah, we'll do Void Portal again. Void Ending's pretty fun. We did that last episode, but I don't mind doing Void Ending again. It's dangerous, but it's it's, it's interesting. Although I do think with the uh, with the range we have, it could be could be a bit harder than it was last time. I'd say. Unfortunately, all three of the events aren't next to each other this time, and I've managed to fall under there somehow. Dealing damage if there's... Oh, okay, that's probably better, to be honest, for the boss. If they're not nearby, we gain bonus damage. Considering the distance we're going to have to keep, I reckon that works out better for us. Too bad distance. Keeping full health is going to be near impossible here. Honestly, this is just very difficult. <laughs> we kind of need to be near them to deal damage. <laughs> But not focus crystal close. This gives us slightly more options, I guess. Try to take all these guys out. Extra crit might help. Okay. We're golden on that front. Luckily, we've got the movement speed to zoom over towards this pretty quick. Oh my god. Just start it. Deal with the crab afterwards. It's actually not too bad, the crab. We managed to shoot into the wall there as well. Helps. Unfortunately, we do have this, but... It's not super useful with, uh, considering we've got to stay in the middle here. How did that not hit? Put the dagger right at him. There you go. Dude, the damage is just so low. The damage is so low. 
Oh god. We gotta be careful here. Oh no. I got traps. Okay, we got him, we got him. Right, where are we going? All the way over here. Honestly, not too enthused about how the boss is going to go here. Not too enthused. Oh god, I keep getting trapped by this fucker. Uh, I think I was getting trapped by the second one, actually. Whoa! See his little legs go up then. The freezing is, is very nice, but... Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to keep them frozen permanently. Oh, forgot about that. Forgot about that for a hot minute. Okay, this wasn't too bad. This wasn't too bad. Yeah, there you go. The freezing is perfect. I don't know whether I should have traded my focus crystals or not. I was thinking about the boss mainly. Oh, fuck. That was kind of close. Right, boss. It's time. You gotta go. You get out of here, you. Luckily, up ramps, we could just speed. Okay. Go time. Don't think this is going to go too well. But all we can do is try. We don't have the greatest movement. Also, we're not... I just realised. We only regen shield when killing things, so we're not able to regen shield very easily either. Yeah, this is going to be bad. <laughs> this is not a good build for this at all. But we can only try... Oh, dude. We've got such limited range, we're going to have to get so close to him. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, not being able to get our shield back here is a big problem. I think we're uh, I think we're in the burn zone here. I mean we've done a pretty good amount of damage to him thus far. More than I was expecting I would. Beyond his head is not a bad idea. I say that as I get completely demolished. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one nonetheless. That was a fun run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.